Hey everybody, welcome back to Vice City. Tommy Versetti here. We are up here at the Scum Old Shack. This was the closest place to where we uh, last ended up. So we are going to go out and see who we can run some missions for this morning. Now that we've done a little bit more, uh, collected five more hidden packages. So we are over here at the Scum Old. We're looking, we've lost Diaz, as you see. He is no longer one of our bosses on the map. He didn't say anything about no longer being a boss. But I don't know, maybe he's off doing some dealing, wheeling and dealing with the drugs that we brought him. So next we have Cortez back and we have Avery Carrington back. I think we're going to go see Avery next. Go and see him and see um, just how well he likes our little demolition job, maybe and see what other work he has for us. So we're going to head on over there, and we'll see you when we get close to his work site again. All right, folks, we have spent some time running around and re-ammoing up, um, getting our guns back together after that last busted on the, the Lance Vance mission that caused us to... to uh, lose all our weapons because not busted wasted because anytime you get arrested or get um anytime that you get arrested or you get wasted and sent to the hospital they confiscate a little cash but the biggest part is they take all your weapons they take all your guns and all so we have been rebuilding up as you see we've got some good pistol ammo we got very decent shotgun Okay on the SMG, we might be a little short there. Um, Flamethrower and 20 rounds of sniper. So the only thing I'm really worried about is the SMG here. Because we tend to go through quite a bit of SMG rounds. But we'll see. We have come back here to talk to Avery. And uh, we are going to walk into the pink here and wait for him to drive up in his office. Lady, you're doing weird things with your hand there. Two bit hit. Tommy, this is Donald Love. Donald, this here is Tommy Versetti, the latest gunslinger to come to these parts. Now, Donald, you just shut up and listen, and you might learn something. Now, nothing brings down real estate prices quicker than a good old fashioned gang war. Except maybe a disaster like a biblical plague or something, but that may be going too far in this case. You getting this down, you four-eyed prick? Now, recently a Haitian gang lord died. Apparently the Cubans did it. Nobody's certain, but let's make them certain. You disguise yourself as a Cuban hombre and head on down and crash that funeral. Mix it up and then hightail it. You getting this down, Donald? Well, that ought to put the coyote in the chicken coop, huh? And then we'll just sit back and watch the prices tumble. Alrighty, folks, there you see we have seen Donald Love. That's really the first time, we, well, second time we've seen him. We saw him on the boat in the very original, you know, the first episode that we had on Cortez's boat. He was standing beside Avery when Avery and uh, BJ Smith were talking to each other. But he didn't say anything then either, and he barely got out most of a hello here before Avery cut him off, you'll notice. So yeah, so there you saw Donald Love, 15 years younger than we saw him. Come on, get out of the way. Donald Love, 15 years younger than we saw him over there in GTA 3 when he's living in Liberty City. And you see he's the protege of Avery Carrington. Kind of understand where he gets his, where he gets his uh, real estate morals from, don't you? In fact, he uses that exact line, if you remember. Um, if you remember when he was tr wanting us to set up a gang war between the between the Yakuza and the the Colombians, the Yardies, that's the Colombians. No, no, not the Yardies, the Colombians. Yeah, set up a gang war between Asuka's force and and Catalina's forces. He used those exact two lines about nothing drives down prices. Uh, faster than a good old-fashioned gang war, and then said, except for perhaps a plague, but that may be going too far in this case. So, he learned from the master there, indeed. That was another part where, as I said, we're using, we've got this patch back to the original version, the original 2002 version, 
where you're setting up a war between the Haitians and the Cubans. And they're actually said that in the the version three, I think, which is called the actually called the Haitian friendly version, I think, because of we've discussed about the controversy and the the self editing that that rock started, the self censoring they did to uh, take out references like that, and you get kind of a disconnect with his with uh, Avery Carrington's Avery Carrington's um, animation there and his lip syncing because he sits there and he talks about are they shooting at me? Nope. Okay. He sits there and he talks about um, he says apparently a gang lord died. Nobody knows for sure how it happened but we want you to disguise yourself as a gang member and go out and raise a ruckus at his funeral. And, of course, the animation is for Haitian and Cuban. So he sits there and there's this, this empty spot where his lips are still moving and he's still waving his arms, but there are no voices coming out. So that's a difference between that and this. But we're seeing, as I said, we're seeing the original version. Not because we hate Haitians and not because we hate Cubans or anything like that but because it shows the original storyline. And the original storyline makes a hell of a lot more sense when it's Haitians and Cubans fighting each other rather than just two random gangs and and the, uh, the weird things that have to change because of that. So we're going to go on in here. Let's see if we can get our Cuban colors. It's just like this. There's no point in there. There really is no point in us dressing up as a as a Haitian gang member in the Haitian colors. Okay, there's a guy right there. Ooh, is, is there a weapon there? Look like it. Uh, we could have got an, more, another bit of pistol ammo there, but we didn't get over there in time. We really need to start listening to the gunshots around here. Let's get over to Romero's furniture, uh, from funeral home. I'm going to be happy to find Romero's funeral home because there's some interesting stuff going on there. That if this episode, if we can actually be successful at this episode, um, we'll go around and we'll take a look. Oh, thank you. We'll go around and we'll take it, uh, take a look at everything around in that area. We might need another car before the, all this is over. Um, looks like wearing maybe Haitian colors might not be the best thing to do here in here in uh, our Cuban colors. Might not be the best thing to do whenever we're in the other side's territory. Let's see. Now, how are we going to do this? That is apparently his funeral right up there. And they got both sides of the street blocked off. Hmm. So, how are we going to do this? I see a guy standing up over there on the wall. Can we do sniper? Let's see if we can snipe this. Whoops. He just disappeared. We do have to get close enough so that he actually loads in. There we go. Let's see here. Oh, excellent. They've spotted you. All right. That's excellent. <laughs> Who am I supposed to take out? This guy? Now get out of Little Haiti. Okay. Well, this makes this easy as hell, doesn't it? <laughs> Uh-oh. Heading toward the uh Heading toward the junkyard. I don't think that's probably the best place. This looks like a dead end into the junkyard. So that might not be... Whoop, the Haitians are shooting at us now. And they've taken out our tire. Let's see if we can get on out of here. Whoop, there went a car behind me. Fortunately, we don't have any police stars. Although, as I'm saying that, why do I keep saying stuff like that? Wow. All right, so there you go again. The power of an a Havana outfit delivered to Little Havana Streetwear. The power of the sniper rifle. It can be so OP in some of these missions. All right. 
Well, let's see. We are gonna get a different gun. Okay. Hey, Leo. I got some work for you. This ain't Leo. Hey, if Leo knows you got his phone, he's gonna kill you. Maybe Leo's already dead. Maybe I killed Leo and took his phone. Did you ever think of that, prick? You kill Leo? You must have big honors. Wanna work for me? I stop by my father's cafe in Leo Havana. And we'll talk mano y mano. Tell the police about this. Alright, so we have got a new We have got a new boss on the board now, which looks good because apparently Yep, Avery's gone. So we've lost Avery again. Is that keep gonna be his only reappearance? Does he show up again? I have no idea. Alrighty. We are what we're actually gonna do is we are gonna go save. Alright. We're going to go save. We are going to get back into our um, regular street clothes. And then we are going to come back over here, like I said, over there to Romero's. Because we didn't get very close to it, did we? We're going to come back over to Romero's funeral parlor and uh, show you around the place a little bit. And that will probably end up our mission here. So I'll talk to you in just a few. We have returned over here to Little Haiti. I'll show you where we are on the map. We are just over here. You've got the, the long bridge north of, Fish, of Starfish Island that loops around. We are right where the next major road turns to the left. That is probably the easiest way to find, uh, to uh, be able to find Little Haiti here. And we are gonna drive on up. We're taking that road that loops to the left, to the west. And we are going to go right by Romero's funeral parlor. We'll go by there, and we're also, it is right past, y'all seen this from the back before, the uh, the Well Stack Pizza Company. When we were on that road back over there behind it, you could see, you could see the, the pizza part on top there peeking up over the buildings behind it. Let's get back on our angel. But right over here beside the well stack pizza is Romero's funeral home. This is where the, the gang lords and all were just now. And where we sniped the new gang lord while they were having his funeral. That was a fairly easy mission to do with a sniper weapon, you know? What can you say? Let's see what the signs say here. It's always a good morning. Oh, I love how they spell morning. At Funeraria Romero, the dead center of Vice City. You won't bereave our prices, and we really dig graves. <laughs> oh, me. Here you see their prices, $500 for a uh, wooden packing crate, 2000 for a wooden box, and 4000 for one of the big metal boxes. Uh, Stephen Mulholland, R.I.P. As you know, that is a, a joke on one of the developers. He was not, I don't think he's dead. He was not actually dead when this was made either. Um, but they put him in there, and you see the R.I.P. with the Rockstar logo. And there is the great Bella Lugosi himself holding the, holding the uh, Romero sign. Very nice. Now, it's interesting. Two things are interesting. One is that it is right next door to the pizza parlor so it's interesting if you want to uh, get some pizza I imagine after your funeral the other thing is whoa I didn't know that didn't know there was a hidden package back here let's go ahead and grab it that gives us 26 Do you see there's a number of graves back behind the uh, behind the Romero's here with one of them having been dug open and a skeleton down inside of it that's interesting, very interesting. And one of the reasons for that is if you come down here to the other side of the street, you got the Carnicero Romero family butcher. So not only do they run a funeral parlor, they also run a family butcher shop. And you look inside and you've got all the various uh, meat parts and everything, but if you notice, there is an arm lying in there and a box down here with human organ for transplant on it so 
seeing the the Romero family butchers here just down the street from the from the funeral parlor and seeing that dug up grave back there wonder makes you wonder if uh if the Romero family gets their meat very very cheaply perhaps you might want to be careful about what you're eating whenever you're there you might end up with a watch in your hamburger all right guys so there we go that was a pretty easy little mission there um, I think that is gonna be it for today I've got some other things I want to try and do so we will catch up with y'all next time and I suppose next time we will go and do a mission for Cortez, Cortez for the Colonel. So I am going to go save this up because of having um, having found that hidden package that I wasn't expecting. And after we do that, before I see you next time, I will go around and hit a few of the... the the weapons pickups and get ourselves re ammo here a bit too so we'll see you next time and we will be talking to colonel cortez then so y'all have a good one thanks for watching and we'll see you then